Hey guys, what's going on? It's Care here from BuzzGadgets.com, and today in this video, I've got a little terminal uh, trick and tutorial for you guys. Um, basically, what we're going to do here is take the widget off of the dashboard application on your Mac computer and place it on your desktop. So if you've got like a stickies um, widget or if you've got weather widget like I've got here, um, you can easily add it to your desktop with a little uh, terminal code that you can add in there. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you're interested in wondering if this is even possible. Well, the first thing we're going to do is actually open up terminal. Uh, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with where that's located, I'm actually going to show you right now. First thing you want to do is open up Finder, and inside Finder, inside the Applications folder, you'll see an actually a secondary folder called Utilities. Uh, you want to go ahead and open up Utilities, and at the very bottom you'll see a little application with a uh, with a symbol like that, a greater than sign with an underscore. Uh, that's the terminal application there. It's a, basically like a command prompt uh, system for uh, Macintosh computers. Uh, so basically I'm going to just close out a finder there. And the code that we're going to put in here, I'm actually going to go ahead and paste it in the description. So for those of you who don't know what I'm typing or are confused, you guys can just copy and paste it uh, and you'll be, you'll be good to go. So basically I'm going to type here is defaults write com.apple.dashboard we're going to put dev mode for, for developers mode and in all caps we're going to put yes. Um, so if that was too fast for you, if you guys uh, kind of missed it, you can just kind of rewind it or pause it, uh, whichever you guys uh, wish to do, and uh, just copy and paste it. So now from here, we're just going to hit the enter key, and uh, as you guys see, it just pretty much repeats the next line, so I can enter another line of code if needed, but I don't need to do that, um, as it's already been activated now. Um, yeah, you won't see any of that fancy stuff that you can show off, you know, all the... Uh, just the stuff that you don't know what it is, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so now what we can do is easily we can open up Dashboard. You can either hit F4 on your Mac keyboard, or else you can go to Finder and Applications. And inside the Applications folder, you'll see a uh, Dashboard application. Uh, and show you guys the icon there. That's the icon. If you guys didn't know what that was, that is Dashboard there with the little speedometer icon. Okay, going to get back out of that. Now, uh, you guys see I've got a two different widgets here. I've got the clock and I've got ESPN basketball, the NBA. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and add this one. But if if these uh, if these dash if these widgets don't fill your needs, then there's a little plus button at the very bottom. Uh, you can easily click that there and you'll be presented with a little uh, row there uh, with a bunch of different widgets. I mean you've got business, calculator, dictionary, uh, Google, so you can Google right from your desktop. Uh, no need to open up Safari or Firefox or Chrome or anything like that. Uh, and then you also got stickies, which I'm going to add as well. Uh, it's nice to be able to take notes from the desktop and not having to open up TextPad or anything like that. So basically what we do to add it is you click on your mouse, click and hold it, uh, the widget. I'm holding on to ESPN right now. And at the same time, I'm actually going to hold down FN and then press F12. And you'll notice that the widget now is on my desktop, uh, which is pretty cool, and it's a very simple process. Uh, and I just go back, and to add stickies, I do the very same thing. Click on it, hold it, press FN on the very left side, and F12 on the very top right side, and boom, it's on the desktop. Now, say you have a, uh, a widget, and you no longer want it on your desktop. You just kind of want to get rid of it. You just hold on to it again whichever widget you want to remove so in my case I'm going to remove this weather one I'm going to click on it press FN and F12 again and now when you see when I let go of the mouse it lights up um, whereas the ESPN and stickies are still kind of overlaid with a black background so if I click on the little plus button down at the very bottom you'll see that the uh, weather widget now has an X above it whereas the ESPN and notes uh, the stickies which it don't so now from here I can just click on the X and it just disappears I go back to the desktop and it's gone so guys that's pretty much it um, for this uh, little terminal trick tutorial uh, hopefully it helps uh, for you guys wondering if you can add it add widgets or not now there's one thing that I do want to mention 
these widgets, whenever you open up uh, Internet, or sorry, not Internet Explorer, we're using a Mac, uh, Safari or Firefox or any kind of applications, your widgets will actually overlay on top of those uh, applications. So what you may have to do is probably use spaces or something like that. Um, I, I guess that kind of defeats the purpose, but um, it, it kind of overlays all your applications. And to show you, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up... Um, I'm actually using ScreenFlow right now, so I'm going to go and open up ScreenFlow, and you guys can see that the application, the widgets actually overlay on top of the application that I'm using. So um, that's just one downer about it, but hey, as long as you don't use too many stickies, it shouldn't really be a problem. I mean, you can always move them around, you can just click and drag, click and drag. Now these widgets actually are very full fleshed, uh, just like they are in dashboard. You can you get the little I button, and you can, you know, like ESPN, I can go back and select my sports and stuff. And, and the widgets here are uh, very easy to type in. Uh, one thing I really like about the Stickies app is that I mean, colors are changeable, and then you can change your fonts and all that stuff. But anyways, um, that's ju that just about that's just about it for this video, guys. Be sure to check us out at BuzzGadgets.com for the latest tech news and product reviews. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this. And if you'd like to see more of these terminal trick tutorials, be sure to leave a comment below saying so. Um, and I'll get on it, alright, guys. So that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.